Montana. Prison and Auto Museum. Hi and welcome to my video. So if you're wondering why I'm kind of being quiet at the beginning of this video and just leaving this uh, audio track over it, it was because this actually, this auto and prison museum in the auto part, there was actually people in here, so I didn't want to be loud. Um, so we are in Deer Lodge, Montana on a road trip heading to Washington, and uh, I really wanted to check out the prison, and when you uh, pay for the prison, you get to also go into the auto museum. And like any good guy, I uh, can't turn down an auto museum. I love looking at old cars. So as most auto museums go, this one's pretty cool. There's a lot of, lot of cars in here. It's not as amazing as like the Harrah's one in Reno, but I mean, that's the National Auto <laughs> Museum or whatever the heck it's called. But there's some pretty cool old cars in here. There's a whole room full of 55, 56, 57 Chevys. That's really neat. Um, so like most auto museums, this one starts with the really, really old cars, the, you know, kind of wacky, weird ones, the 1912 Coles and some steam powered ones and Ford Model A's and Model T's and, you know, the old gangster era kind of like wood spoke cars. And, uh, you know, these are neat and everything, but I really like the muscle cars and more of those type of ones or the odd and kind of crazy and weird ones. But, um... We'll go ahead and walk on through I mean, this place and take a look. This place is pretty you neat. You put it on loan. It's like, where's your car at? I, it's over at that museum. You know, you don't have to. You get to own it. I like, a, I like all the Ford. This was a police car in my now, if you're wondering, I'm not going to be uh, stopping and showing every car in detail and reading the placard out in this video or anything. I'm actually moving pretty quickly through this auto museum. And it's not that these cars aren't interesting or anything like that. It's just that the auto museum is a part of the prison museum. And that is really the thing I'm here to see is the big prison. And if you hop over to my video or if you've already seen it that I did on the other side of this building of the giant prison, um, you would see why I kind of move through this quickly. The music that they're playing is really cool. I like that they kind of themed the music and they kind of themed the areas. Um, you know, it it is a uh, auto museum that's done right, and this is uh, really a neat place. There's I like the fact that they have all this other stuff too, like the gasoline stuff here, and and they have like this thing set up like the service station, and then there's even like this uh, tire machine thing right here and stuff and it's hooked up and they have like this car on a jack like it's being worked on and stuff and that's really cool I, I like when auto museums kind of do it upright and they do it like this Tony seems to be enjoying the music a lot too as you can tell I like all the old where they do this when they put the old stuff like this in These cars in this room are pretty cool, um, and a lot of these were on loan, and some of them were even for sale. I like this uh, bullet-nosed car. This thing's pretty cool looking and stuff. So, But yeah, some of these cars were for sale. You were able to purchase them. A lot of them were on loan, which makes sense, because if you did own one of these type of cars and you don't drive it around regularly, um, Montana definitely wouldn't be a favorable place to, to drive a lot of these vehicles just because of the weather and the mountains and so forth. Elvis is. <laughs> this display of classic Chevy is dedicated to the memory of his love of 55, 56, and 57 Chevy. No, it's just in memory of him. I mean, if he owned all these, it's fucking dope. The red one's super cool. Yeah, I like the gold channel. 
I like the Chevy symbol too. Uh huh. Ah, uh, the purple school. Now, I really love the cars in this room. I would take any of these cars in a heartbeat and be very happy with them. My favorite one was probably right when you walked into this room, the uh, big black station wagon. Just because those are cool. Nobody kept the old station wagons, and those are really neat. The uh, Thunderbird right here is really cool, too. And then there's a whole mixture. There was a bunch of 55, 56, 57 Chevys, as that thing said in memory to that one guy and then as you move back here there's more of the Mopar um, cars and so forth like that and as you can tell there is a large amount of muscle cars in this back room right here this this room was definitely the coolest room in this building in this collection um, I love all these cars. These cars are great. And uh, a lot of these were uh, on loan, but they have been really, you know, fixed up nicely, a lot of these. I, I would love to drive any of these cars. This Judge is, is really a neat car. You don't see a lot of those all fixed up and stuff. I mean, you see GTOs and, you know, other kind of more standard ones, but you don't see a lot of uh, ones like that. And then there's this car right here that's facing the other way. And I don't know if they're working on it, if it's going to be in the collection, but that was like an old Fiat. And I really wish that thing had been turned around and you could see it. And there's one of those, like, Eleanor Mustangs from, like, uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. And then there's these, uh, there's a motorcycle here and stuff like that, but there's this uh, big military vehicle back here that's pretty cool. That thing would be dope. Oh, you would die. We're talking about now. Shane come running in this big old fast boat. Dude, here's the bomb. 1974 city car. Hey, that thing's for sale. You have to call to find out the price. Though. I would totally drive that in town to City Park. I like the random line back there. It's nice. That's a nice little line. It's totally killed into the clip back here. Nice. All those Corvettes are for sale. Museum. 